the biggest challenge. Um, now, but you did mention something that we could talk about is food. I think probably a lot of people might have an issue. In fact, we read, I read this article online that was ridiculous that make sure if you're traveling, go somewhere where they're going to have French fries because, you know, if they don't serve kid-friendly food, you don't want to travel there. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> That's, That's the whole point of traveling. That's why we travel. One of the reasons is because our kids have limited options as to what to eat. And having those limited options forces them or encourages them to try new things. You know, I'm hungry. Well, okay, here's what's for dinner. This is what they're serving today. Okay, they eat it. I mean, last, yesterday, we went out to eat at the market in Panachel. And my son was eating spoonfuls of shredded radishes. I mean, who, what eight-year-old kid that? does that? He was eating awesome. just chunks of radishes. And enjoying it. And it's like, yeah, this is great. I'm like, wow. And we constantly have five, six, eight, and nine, and they're just eating they're all eating their onions vegetables, on top all of their food. They're and loving it. Yeah. And we walk past the street saying, Dad, can we get some more of those veggies? I mean, they're just devouring it. There's no but chicken nuggets. Yeah. Or macaroni and cheese. You know? Oh, and they ah. love that stuff when it's there. But, but when we are in the states, okay, when we're in the states and we are around that kind of stuff, when there's cereal and there's you know cookies and there's whatever, they want nothing to do with this other stuff. Eat radishes? Are you kidding? No, they, they wouldn't touch it. So we like to be out of those situations. We like to leave that, and we're not going to make sure, we're not, you know, we're not going to bring the macaroni and cheese along because, oh, our kids won't eat anything else. Your kids will eat other stuff, trust me. If there's nothing else available, they'll eat it. Now, and then they'll they might, like it. They might complain at first. They're not used to it. They're used to eating what they like. But with practice, with exposure, they're going to adjust, and they're going to realize this is what there is to eat. And if I'm hungry, I have to eat it. That happens so often. We'll be traveling through places and we're all hungry and we find the first stand, the lit first lady that's selling something and whatever it is, we're going to eat it. And so will the kids and hungry. they'll love it. And they eat it too because they're hungry. We read Pinocchio and my son, the eight-year-old, still loves to quote it. It says, hunger makes the best sauce. You know, when you're hungry, <laughs> whatever it is, it's going to taste really good and you're going to eat it. And that's, I think, one of the biggest... Well, one of, one of the great benefits of traveling is that you learn to do that from necessity. You're not saying to your kids, no, you have to eat your vegetables because you need to learn to eat them. Well, you know what? All that's left to eat is these radishes, and so they eat them without us even saying anything because they're hungry. And they enjoy them. And, and if you're catching yourself right now, well, yeah, it's good for your kids, but my kid doesn't, or no, mine's this way. Again, it's those circumstances, those situations. They'll adapt. They'll change. What a great opportunity to have all that variety all these different experiences just to, to get out and experience what's available in this wonderful world of ours instead of just being confined to one thing and, and if you keep your kid in one situation they're going to act the same way when you pull them out of that all of a sudden that doesn't that doesn't apply anymore it's a totally different situation and so it's a great opportunity to get out and have all these great new experiences and, and get all this growth and learning and, and uh, just have a great adventure we love it we love it's sort of the kids we eat awesome, they love awesome food. <laughs>